but you are not meeting one California sea lion. You are going to be meeting two, and I think that deserves some more noise. So what do you folks say? Are you ready for a show? Yeah! Hello, and welcome to the Long Island Aquarium Sea Lion Coliseum. My name is Kim, and I'm going to be the host of your show today. But more importantly, join me up here on these seats are going to be your sea lion superstars. Your first star is our 21-year-old female sea lion. She weighs in at just under 200 pounds. Her name is Bunker, and she's going to be joined up here by her good friend and trainer, Rachel. Now your second sea lion superstar is our youngest California sea lion. She is just four years old, weighs around 130 pounds. Her name is Lucy, and she's going to be joined to your left with her good friend and trainer, Courtney. Now we have Bunker and Rachel from Ed Center and Lucy and Courtney to your left. But remember, if you see them do anything you like, anything at all, make sure you let them hear it because these four really appreciate all the And that was perfect, folks, just like that. But I did get a little bit ahead of myself out here. I was so excited to come out here and start the show that I let these four wave hello to all of you, but I didn't give them a chance to say hello to their trainers yet, and that is not right. They are the best of friends. So we're going to have to pause this show and let these four have the greeting they deserve. <laughs> very sweet flipper shake. Very nice, you four. Now, it does take a lot of trust and time to work with wild animals like your stars. If you ever see a wild animal out in nature, it is very important that you do not approach them as they will never respond to the way that these guys respond to their trainers. In fact, by law, the Marine Mammal Protection Act states you need to stay at least 150 feet away from any marine mammal you may see out in nature. Now, here at the aquarium, we are lucky enough to house both California sea lions, like your two superstars up here, as well as their cousins, the true seals, like the gray or harbor seals you may see seen swimming around at the front of the aquarium. We do know it can get a little bit confusing to tell the difference between the two, but your two stars here are an expert on this topic, and they're going to help make you all experts as well by pointing out some differences between them and their cousins. Now, that very first difference they're going to point out for you today can be found in their ears. If you take a look at the side of their heads, you'll see their trainers are going to be pointing out their external ear flaps. These are called pinnae. Their cousins are true seal, lack that pinnae, and instead have an internal ear. So if you take a look at the side of their heads, you'll see a small opening behind their eyes where their ears are. Bunker, it's coming nice and close for you all today <laughs> to show off that pinnae. Now that next difference is going to be found in their necks. Now, sea lions have very long and flexible necks, and they're showing, Bunker is showing off how long her neck is. But I don't think any of you were impressed by that. It's okay, you know, Bunker's not done showing off. You see, her neck is so long and flexible that Bunker can touch her nose all the way to her back. Whoa! Now, that is some impressive flexibility. I would not try that one at home. Her cousins, the true seal, have just as flexible of a neck, but their neck is not nearly as long as a California sea lion's. That third difference is going to be found in their rear flippers. As you've seen, these guys have had no problem hopping on and off of their seats and following their trainers both forward and backwards with ease. That is something called a rotatable hip bone. Now that hip bone gives these guys the ability to tuck their rear flippers up and underneath their body and walk around with ease out here on land. Their cousins are true seal lack this rotatable hip bone, so when they come out here on land, they tend to look a little bit silly. But these guys have been up to the front of the aquarium and have seen their cousins in action and have come up with quite the impression. So, Bunker, Lucy, when you're ready, why don't you show that off for this crowd? <laughs> that is right, like a great big fuzzy intro feature on their belly. Now, with as silly as your sea lion comedians are being, they are absolutely correct. When a true seal comes out here on land, they'll get around by scooching on their bellies with their rear flippers out behind them. And now that final difference we're going to point out for you all today can be found in their front flippers. Lucy is giving you a nice view of hers over to your left. Now sea lions will use these front flippers to pull themselves in the water like you or I might use our arms when we go swimming. Their cousins of true seal of course have front flippers as well, however theirs are much shorter, so they'll use theirs in the opposite manner to steer themselves in the water rather than pulling themselves. But Bunker wants to show off just how strong she is with those front flippers by doing what would be the equivalent of a handstand for you or I. So Bunker, when you're ready, launch your wildest crowd with that strength. Wow. Very impressive, Bunker. That is all 200 pounds on just those two front flippers alone. 
But now that these guys have made you all experts stay on your feet between ACL and a C line, don't forget to get a closer look at the C line habitat behind me after our training session, as well as the seal habitat up at the front of the aquarium, and see if you can spot some of those differences for yourselves. Now with that, it is not going to bring us to the end of our show, but it is going to wrap up our time with Lucy. So let's give Lucy a big round of applause. Yay! Now Lucy's going to be heading back inside of her habitat, but Bucker here wants to show off just one of the reasons why we train our animals. Now we like to train our animals to keep them both mentally and physically stimulated. So much like you or I would go to school and learn a new math problem, would be like Bunker learning a brand new behavior. Or like you or I might go to recess or to the gym to stay physically fit, she can practice some of her more higher energy behaviors. Now I do happen to know that she has one way of staying physically fit that is her favorite, and that's actually by dancing. So what do you folks say? You want to see Bunker dance today? Yeah! That's what we thought. We're going to get on her favorite song, and when you hear that music, clap along to help her keep the beat. All righty, Bunker, take it away. <laughs>
to ask here is how do we train our animals to do all the amazing behaviors that you've seen throughout the show today. Now one of the very first skills that all of our animals learn is a simple but important one called targeting. This means that the animal learns to place and hold their nose to their trainer's fist like they're demonstrating for you. Once they're comfortable targeting our fist, we can transfer this over to training tools, like to that blue and white buoy on a stick called the target pole, and then to some of their favorite toys around their habitat, like that colorful ball suspended high above the water. Once Bunker was comfortable targeting that ball, we were able to move it all around her habitat while still asking her to target it, which has allowed us to shape some pretty cool behaviors, like jumping. Now you see that ball started out at the surface of the water, and over time we've been able to raise it up higher and higher to the point where it's at today, but I don't know, that ball is looking awfully high now. California sea lions can jump around 10 to 12 feet out of the water. But this is going to be Bunker's grand finale, so I think she's going to need one last round of applause from you all out there. Yeah. All right, Bunker, can you touch that ball? Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Bunker, and what a splash. Now we're doing such an amazing job with that behavior, as well as all the behaviors acts of both Bunker and Lucy throughout the show. They were both constantly rewarded with lots and lots of their favorite food, which of course is fish. This is called positive reinforcement training, and it's how we train all of our animals here at the Long Island Aquarium. But unfortunately, folks, with that very impressive splash, it is going to bring us to the end of our show. You all have been an amazing audience. Let's give it up for your stars one more time. Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of myself, the Long Island Aquarium, your Sea Lion Superstars, Bunker and Lucy, and their trainers, Rachel and Courtney. We thank you all so much for coming, and hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at the Long Island Aquarium. Good night, everyone.